Hello, I'm Dr. Payam Hakimi from Body of Harmony. We're your source for integrative and functional medicine information. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, treatment of upper respiratory infection symptoms with homeopathy. Specifically, a lot of the viruses are going to have the same symptoms. So the virus of the uh, flu virus, the other viruses are going to have the same symptomatology. So they're all going to be exactly the same thing. Uh, COVID virus is going to be exactly the same thing. The symptomatology is going to be the same. So the homeopathic medications that we use for that is going to be the same as every one of them as well. So it's also important to talk about homeopathy a little bit. Remember homeopathy is about treating symptoms and not treat, it's not a treatment for anything. And I've talked about this before as well, but let's review it. If you have cough, it, it basically means you either have a virus, a bacteria, an allergy or something else that's causing a, a gastroesophageal reflux, an acid or something that's causing that cough, right? So there are two things that we need to do. We need to treat the underlying condition, which is the bacteria with antibiotics, the virus, the you know, acid and everything else. But you also need to symptomatically treat the cough, so get rid of the cough so you can sleep at night so that you're not coughing the rest of the day and irritating uh, your upper respiratory. So it's important to appreciate that homeopathic medications are just symptomatic treatments. They're not necessarily a treatment of cause at this point uh, in this situation that I'm talking about. We can talk about homeopathy later and how it, it treats different medical conditions. But for the time being, we're talking about just treating the symptoms of an illness, not the illness itself. So once a, an illness starts, a viral illness, uh, our first signs are going to be body aches, fevers and chills, maybe a little bit runny nose, we're tired. Um, and uh, those are the symptoms that we're going to feel. The most important medication I use at this point is going to be oscillococcinum. It's a medication that has uh, proven scientifically to uh, help decrease the duration and the severity of symptoms of flu. So that's what we use right away as, as soon as we get it. The other ones are going to be a medication called Aconitum Nepalis. Aconitum is a very important medication because it, it treats the sort of the beginning phases of a viral illness with the body aches, with the uh, fevers and shivers and, and hypertension and, fe and all of that is going to be covered in uh, aconitum. The other one that we use is ferrum phosphoricum. Ferrum phosphoricum is very important because it also covers the fevers, the body aches, as well as some of the symptomatology that comes, like ear pain and, and throat pain, and all that is going to be covered with ferrum uh, phosphoricum. Uh, the other one that we use specifically is allium sepa, which is uh, for symptoms of having runny nose and, and sort of runny eyes and and again that's something that starts at the beginning of these uh, at the beginning stages of uh, viral illnesses and then the other one that I really like is called Fidolaca. Fidolaca is a very important medication for sore throats uh, it's probably our number one medication for sore throat so I use that a lot uh, in our in our uh, clinic with uh, a lot of our patients um, usually by this time some of our patients get better and, and remember you've already done your vitamin C's and vitamin D and, and if you're one of our patients you've received your um, IV nutrition from us and, and our immune stamina and everything else that we do for our patients. If at this point the illness does not resolve itself and it continues to the next st stage which is going to be the infectious stage, the symptoms change a little bit. So at this point, there's going to be a more severe cough, there's going to be phlegm with cough that might be colored, yellow, green, brown. There's going to be uh, sort of uh, same thing with uh, runny nose that might be colored to it, yellow, green, brown, red, depending on how sinuses get involved. And uh, the cough and sore throat will get a little bit better. Sometimes right before this, there's also a, a period of diarrhea with a lot of viral illnesses. Uh, and uh, we treat the diarrhea as well um, with uh, medications that I'm going to uh, talk about in a sec. But for the infectious stage uh, of a viral illness, an upper respiratory uh, symptomatology, we use uh, belladonna, which is 
um, a little bit more symptoms, a little bit more almost sweaty and red, hot and, and severe sore throat and headaches and, and sort of sensitivity to the uh, light, all of that comes in. Uh, the medications that are used for cough are Drosera, Spongia, Blata and Sambucus and these are the group of medications that are also used for wheezing and for asthma attacks uh, that work amazingly. The other one is Antimonium Tartaricum which is a uh, sort of a asthmatic cough where the patient wants to cough and bring up phlegm but the phlegm does not come out. We also use Cupro Metallicum which is a me medication of spasm and a lot of the times there is a feeling of suffocation in the lungs so Cupro and Lachesis are very important medications to use. Gelsemium still used at this stage for headaches, for body aches, for muscle joint aches, uh, for fevers, all of that is also covered with, with gelsemium. And if, if I feel that my patient is getting worse, then I put them on other medications like phosphoricum acidum, which we've talked about before. It's a medication for uh, almost an adrenal uh, insufficiency where the patient feels tired and feels fatigued but cannot sleep at night and they're jumpy and, and jittery. So phosphoricum acidum is very important. Arsenicum album is a medication for severe uh, toxic infections so it's important to have that. Um, Podophyllum is a, is a very good medication that I told you about for diarrhea, for travelers diarrhea. These are the medications that are very important to have at the same time and then with certain conditions that that sort of requires lungs to need a little bit more air we use a specific medication that's called CarboVeg and CarboVeg is a medication that is used for people who have a hard time breathing almost like what we call in medicine COPD sort of a, a severe asthma COPD is, is uh, we use CarboVeg for and it helps out with symptoms. Again, not to uh, sort of confuse this with a, sim, sim, uh, with a treatment of uh, any of these conditions, but at least for the symptoms that I talked about, you can take care of a lot of that with homeopathic medications. Remember always, if you start any um, homeopathics, if you start any integrative alternative medicine and you see that your symptoms are not getting any better or they're getting worse, you need to appreciate that maybe those medications are not working and you need to see your primary care doctor so that they can actually treat you for the condition that you have. It is important that when you use homeopathic medications, you use one of the physicians who know about homeopathic medications. There are a lot of homeopathic medications. Obviously, it's a course uh, that requires some time for the physician to actually learn homeopathy properly. Uh, and if you choose the medication incorrectly, obviously it's not going to work. So if you plan to use any homeopathic medications, please get in touch with one of us. Let us help you and, and figure out exactly what you need. Um, I want to thank you for uh, listening to me. And uh, if you like our uh, videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll uh, be back every week with more videos and talk about more conditions that we can treat with different aspects of functional and integrative medicine.